There are only two things I can't stand in this world. People who are intolerant of other people's cultures and the Dutch. Oh, Amsterdam, that's pretty. Amsterdam. Amsterdam, that is pretty. Oof. What a view. And look at another view there. Good morning. <laughs> good morgan. Good more. You don't night. know what good morning good, is. Good. Anyway, we're going to go for breakfast. More breakfast, please. I didn't put <laughs> So our plan for today is that we are going to go and we're going to head to Amsterdam Central which is where the kind of main bus station bit is and we are going to get a hop on hop off bus and we're going to go around the whole of Amsterdam and get a feel for the place. So I've got a hat because it's quite cold and Emma's got the biggest coat in the world. Look at that. I look so fat but it's fine because it's like a deep. It's all the coat. It's all the coat. This is a canal. This is. Canal. This is another canal. Canal. So we have just got our tickets for the sightseeing hop what on hop on. Yeah. Get, so we've got uh, hop on hop up, hop off bus tour and boat tour um, for 48 hours, which is good. Uh, we are also got we've also got tickets for the zoo tomorrow, which we like. We like the zoo. Uh, we're going to Heineken the ice bar. Well. Yeah, the Heineken experience was full until the 2nd of January. So we're not going there. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to the ice bar. Ice bar. Ice bar. Ice, ice bar. Mm. Drinks, get free drinks. Ice, bar. ice bar. So there's three main canals in Amsterdam. And then there's also the River Amstel. Um, and they call the water, um, it's spelled I-J, but they call it like Earth. Interesting for you if you like it. There's a canal. <laughs> so the population was 180,000 in the 17th century and now it's half a million. So they built these kind of four story, really thin houses that you're going to see in the set, um, like this. Um, and there could be seven people to a room. So yeah. And now it's like single people and they've knocked them through and yeah. So lots, that's why it's all thin and tall houses, like all of these. Obviously, it cannot be a capital city without a hard rock cafe. <laughs> and then here's some houseboats. And oh my gosh, I want to live on a houseboat so bad. There's 2,500 houseboats that are moored up uh, in Amsterdam. And they're not actually allowed to move because um, it actually costs a lot to moor. So you wouldn't want to move. And those are some dangly things that are used to pick up furniture to go to the top floors. And then they just go through the window. car park in it, but these are all, I don't know if you can see what I'm zooming in, bikes, 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 bikes. Bike multi-story. Unbelievable. Wow. So I've come up with a theory about why people from Amsterdam are so uh, nice. Uh, oh, moment, oh, oh, about to get one and also a moment to appreciate this dog just turning around. Oh my god, cutest dog. In the, I can't get the dog in. There's the dog. Doggy, doggy. Anyway, Sorry. we're in the bike bit. I think the reason why people from Amsterdam are so nice and friendly all the time is because they're always riding bikes. And riding bikes is exercise. Exercise releases endorphins and makes you happy. And happy people are nice I to other people. I personally think it's for other reasons. Bicycles, 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 bicycles. Uh, I want to ride my bicycle. Which one's yours, babe? Um, I think it's, I think it's down there about 100 metres on the right. Right by the ice bar, we're going to go to the flower market, have a look around, and then ice bar. After that, yes, we 
no. <laughs> okay, give me a life lesson for my coffee cup. This is Gioca up here. This is the fun bit where you get to see tourists. We love this bit, babe. Hey, we then. Look, he's just holding that musket as if he's going to like do something with it to his son, and now his son's stuck. And this cute little kid on the log there. This is a really cool spot, isn't it? Yeah. It's like clubbing, yeah. coffee we were looking shop, for the, we were coffee looking for the, shop um, called Smokey. <laughs> Subtle. Sort of missed the. Uh, we have no idea. Missed the, the flower market. market. Is. No idea. Not sure. Got a lost. There are coffee shops everywhere. Everywhere. Coffee. Yeah. Shops. And uh, the red light district's just down that way. We'll go there in a bit. I just love this place. I think it's very liberal. Um, and I think everyone's really happy because everyone can have the sex and everyone can get the high. They're all boing king and high. <laughs> that they need. And. Um, Museums as well, so, you know, just keep things educating as well and cultural. Warm at the moment. And then it's going to get cold. It's minus 9.4 in the moment. Chilly. Our bar guy was hilarious. He was a total legend doing the splits. Definitely a performing artist working at a bar. And we had this funny video before we went in. <laughs> it is cold. Ice, ice, ice bar. Da, 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 da. Beer in an ice bar, and he's driving a boat. Drunk driving. She's drunk driving. <laughs> a pirate walks into a bar with a ship's wheel down his pants, and so the barman says, "Do you know you got a ship's wheel down your pants?" And he says, "Ah, it's driving me nuts." Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Very cool here, I have to say. Literally. He's just chilling with the polar bear. Yeah. <laughs> so the glass is unsteamed now. Just about. We're just. My legs are freezing. We're just de-icing. I saw ladies in the window. So we are in the red light district of I saw Amsterdam. Old lady in the window. Yes. So this is. <laughs> that's the whole street up there. And back this way. There's a sex palace over here. There is. There is. Let's go have a look round. <laughs> so, just been getting a bit of the culture, the red light district. Many naked, well, actually a lot of curtains closed because it's a busy Saturday it's night. A, it's a good business night because it's a Saturday. Saw a person go in, that's exciting. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's... And then the curtains got drawn and that was it, babe. That's it. That's it. Old women, young women, no men. Where are the men? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. <laughs> We've had a really good day. We've done loads of stuff. We've walked around, went to the ice bar, and then we went into a shop and we bought these, which are cannabis brownie cookies. And we're gonna try them after dinner tonight when we go back to the hotel. And probably nothing will happen, but <laughs> shut up. You don't wanna make such a big deal out of it. I'm excited, because I'm naive about all this kind of stuff. I have not had the cannabis ever, because I'm from England and it's illegal. Uh, since uni, I haven't had any, so yeah. Mm. So go for food. But it's a Saturday night and we haven't booked anywhere, so we'll see. If we so can we find might not anywhere. be going for food, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just wait and see. Hello. 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 Really 
trash meal at the Rembrandt corner. Couldn't read that for a sec, could you? No, I couldn't. No. I couldn't say it out loud. I had a glass of wine. Um, and we oh, are just oh, walking oh, oh. away from our hotel because we thought, hey, it's about quarter to nine at night. I wonder what the red light district looks like now. Because we did realise we went there earlier and it was like five o'clock. Yeah. And we were like, yeah, it's, it's cool. But we're just out of intrigue going to see what it's like a little bit later on. Are there more windows? <sighs> Who knows? How beautiful is this? Castle, but it's a restaurant. Oh, Christmas got a big tree. Christmas tree. And then there's the red light district. Top we go again. <laughs> so, yeah. yes. yes. Lots more out. Later, there are more. And sexy ones. Really pretty. Really beautiful be girls, actually. Um, lovely bottoms. Yes. And lovely lingerie. Um, out, out of all this, all all we've discovered is that Emma needs to buy new underwear. Yes, genuinely though I do. <laughs> I have some underwear that I've had since secondary school, okay. which is disgusting. Too much information <laughs> for the vlog. Too much information <laughs> for the vlog. We're back at the hotel. We're going to play a game of Jupiter. Have a few of these. We'll let you know tomorrow what the stitch is. Uh, Mike thinks nothing will happen. I fear for my life. So... <laughs> Good night. I won't put the telly on, so you Good have Good night, fun. everybody. You have fun over there. Um, and to all those sex workers in the world, fair play. Fair play.